When looking for a hands-on therapist to promote relaxation, ease pain, it can be difficult to determine which therapist is right for you. And that's arguably the most important part is choosing the right person. The point of this video today is to discuss the similarities and differences between a massage therapist and a physical therapist and determine which one can be right for you. Hi, my name is James Ingram. I'm a physical therapist at EW Motion Therapy. And today we're gonna to talk about some of the similarities and differences between a physical therapist and massage therapist, what they can and can't do. So in terms of similarities between physical therapists and massage therapists, there are a number of them. Both disciplines use hands-on techniques. There's a lot of emphasis on soft tissue. So soft tissue, it's skin, it's muscle, it's tendon. These are the areas where, you know, you're gonna have a lot of built up tension. The whole goal here is to try to ease tension, relieve pain that you may be feeling, whether it's your neck, your back, whatever body part it is, both disciplines are gonna have you feeling better when you leave. So a massage therapist may use a few different tools. You know, some use hot stones, some use warm towels, bamboo sticks. There's a number of different things that a massage therapist can use. And these are all tools just to try to get you feeling better and moving better. A physical therapist isn't necessarily gonna use hot stones, bamboo sticks, and those kinds of things but we do still use a lot of different tools, you know, different massage techniques, uh, other things such as dry needling can come into play. And once again, the goal is to get you feeling better and moving better. In terms of differences between physical therapists and massage therapists, there are a few. And one of the most important things to note is the education process. So for physical therapists, a bachelor's degree is required before you can be accepted into physical therapy school. Physical therapy school today is a doctorate of physical therapy in most programs. And once you've passed all your courses in physical therapy school, you go through a number of clinical internships, you know, different rotations. Once you've finished all of that, you must sit and take a national licensure exam and then another jurisprudence exam, depending on which state you wanna work in. So for massage therapists in the US, licensure to become a massage therapist varies from state to state, but here in the state of Alabama, it is required that you take 650 hours of both academic and hands-on education, and then you're allowed to sit for your licensure exam to become a licensed massage therapist. So for a massage therapist, the main intervention they're going to do is some kind of soft tissue technique with their hands using various tools to try to ease tension in, you know, your muscles, your tendons, you know, all of those structures that can just build up tension throughout the week. So physical therapists, we do a lot of soft tissue techniques and various mobilization techniques as well, but that is all part of a more comprehensive program because instead of just working through areas that might be a little sore or a little you know, tense after a rough week, we're often treating injuries as well. We use soft tissue techniques and all of these massage techniques as a part of the comprehensive program that we're doing to get you moving and feeling better. So in a typical treatment session, a lot of what we do will begin with soft tissue techniques in the very beginning, and then that will build to corrective exercise, postural adjustments, things like that, to try to help ease something that may have been bothering you for a long time. So ultimately with soft tissue techniques and corrective exercise, this is all part of our comprehensive plan to get you moving better, get you stronger, get you feeling better, and get you back to doing the things that you wanna do in your daily life. So whether you choose a physical therapist or a massage therapist ultimately depends on your symptoms. If you'd like to learn more about physical therapy, you can click the link in our description below to, to watch our video called, What is Physical Therapy? This video goes into a little more detail on what it is that physical therapy does and what it can do for you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to help you on your physical therapy and wellness journey.